Well, boys, you wanted some real-life footage, and you've got it. Um, this is Canada Heights. Yeah, the track is in MX Bikes as well, if you uh, recognise it ever so slightly. It runs a different way around nowadays, though. Um, and in typical uh, English fashion, the weather was just trash. It was uh, not my ideal time to uh, come back. I've yeah, I've not ridden a bike in a good half a year plus, so I kind of threw myself out in the deep end. I won't lie, I haven't got the most onboard footage in the world, purely because I could literally hold on for maybe three laps at a time. My arms were absolutely terrible. Uh, and when I got home, I slept for about four hours straight. So, um, overall, it wasn't a terrible day by any means. Uh, it was interesting. I didn't, I felt like in the half a lap that I had in me, most of the time, I, I was riding okay. Um, but as you boys know, I am not a fan of deep stuff in real life whatsoever. I mentioned it in numerous videos. I do like my hard pack. Uh, I just feel like it makes my life a whole lot easier. But uh, I hope you enjoy this regardless. I'm going to talk as we go. Um, and yeah, you can finally get to see how less than average I am in real life. Definitely nothing like. Uh, definitely nothing like in game, that's for sure. All right, time to go and make an idiot of myself for the internet. Wish me luck, boys. Right, so as I put on here, this is actually the second session of the day. The first session I done, I think I done like three laps total. Uh, didn't want to wear the GoPro because there was just so much slop everywhere. You wouldn't have been able to see anything after the first uh, first straight. And there was actually some questions about if I was allowed to wear it or not. The uh, a few we had to ask around a few people, um, and they had to go and they had to like generally ring someone to find out. But it was it was all good for this event. Um, You'll be able to tell that I'm going to just be bagging on myself this entire time. Some of you might find it good, others of you are going to find it absolutely atrocious riding wise. Um, the first thing as well to notice is the GoPro position. I had the I got the Dango chin mount and it was a bit lower down and I found it was constantly bashing against my body armour which is a hell of a pain in the arse. And you'll even find at one point as I'm riding around I do hit it once and it f looks further down so you just can't see anything past that point. I found sometimes, like when I'm stood up it looks absolutely fine, when I'm sat down in the, in the corners it, I think it looks down a little bit too much so if I do use it again I'll try and remember to make it look up a little bit more. But I am the sort of person as well that I really struggle just to go out and hammer a track. It usually takes me a couple laps to kind of feel my way into it, learn where my lines are, try and get some sort of a flow and a rhythm going. Uh, but even though I, f I feel like I didn't do that at all on this day. Um, but I don't understand how people can just go out and just hammer a track straight away. I really, really struggle with it. Uh, but I suppose that's why I, I feel like I'm quite a... Well, I try to be a precise person rather than just letting it hang out everywhere. And uh, to be fair, I I'm not too upset with how I rode. Obviously, when you look at it back on camera, it looks a hell of a lot slower than when you're riding in person. And this uh, this jump I'm going to come up to right here, I detest ruts up the face of jumps. Every single time I come up to it, I really struggle for like the commitment part of things, just to stand up, rubble bike for your knees, look towards the end of the rut and go for it. I always, always pussy out and sit down and like dank, dab my legs and um, this this roller section here, I was really annoyed that it was wet today because the last time I came to Canada Heights, which is the last time I rode about six months plus ago, uh, was the first time I've ever been able to sit properly double through them the whole way and I was so happy with myself at the time that after years and years of riding, uh, obviously infrequently, that I finally got it down and come back next time and it, for my skill level at least in this these conditions it's not doable. Uh, to be fair, the track at this point in time wasn't too terrible. It was definitely rutty, which uh, is always difficult when you, you come back from riding, well, not riding for a while. Uh, it's always hard trying to find your, your flow around right out corners, I find at least. Um, but lovely English weather. It got worse and worse throughout the day, and it just, just made the day not really go to plan, which again is why I haven't got loads and loads of footage, because about, I want to say maybe 12, half 12, so midday, uh, I feel like everybody really had enough, everyone started packing up to go home, and even after this uh, few laps that you're watching here, I went out with my GoPro and recorded some of the uh, the group above me, just so you get some more external footage, and, and as well you can watch people that actually know what they're doing, uh, because if you're not familiar, if you're from America, in the UK, majority of tracks are grouped to, so today we had four groups, there was a beginner group, there was two intermediate groups, because that's usually where most people fall in, and I was in one of those, and then there's an expert group as well, and I thought, uh, for the sake of the video and trying to get some footage of people that actually know what they're doing and are actually good on the bike. I went out and recorded some external shots of some of the expert group as well, but to be fair, it did look like some of them were struggling as well, which was, was always nice. 
help me um, feel a bit better about myself and see there's people getting stuck left right center it gets a whole lot worse in the second session I can uh, I'll tell you that and there's a little uh, little exciting moment there for you as well um, but I'm on I've done, I've done one and a bit laps at this point and it's taken me a good maybe two and a half minutes just to do a lap and you see me just like tiptoeing round and it, when when I'm at practice days like this I, I don't really moto I'll go fast for a section then I'll slow down it's a really bad habit um, but right now I'm just like tooling my way around kind of checking out different lines and it's not interesting to watch whatsoever but it's just me you know this was a absolutely shit line I shouldn't have taken it whatsoever just on top of all of the uh, the loose stuff you see here that like, the camera's a little bit too low for my liking I definitely would change that if I, if I do it again and what I'm hoping is when summer comes around and the weather's actually decent and I get to go out riding a bit more I'll be able to wear it and show you more than just me rolling around everywhere because yeah I do I do know that it's, uh, it's a bit, bit lackluster to watch I won't lie to you boys I even needed to pull off on the side of the track here just to give my forearms a bit of a break and again this was only after about three laps and th as you can see as well this is the point where my camera got knocked down ever so slightly so it's just looking down at the bar pad and the, and the tank constantly and uh, it did annoy me when I watched it back so I had to um, had to bin all of that and I thought I'd get some kind of third person footage this isn't me this is the group above me this is the expert group and just really so you guys can see people that can actually follow a rut and actually ride the track okay no idea if this wasn't the husky but he, I think he was the fastest guy there today he was uh, he was ripping around to be fair to him um and i don't know if you can see on screen as well i'm not sure if youtube does it justice there is there's rain coming down at this point and this is the point where i was like oh god this is going to end up terrible i'm not gonna be able to record anymore um but i did manage to get i think it was maybe like two laps of the next session however you will see something very very interesting happen in the next session but i will leave you to uh, hear my lovely singing here instead uh, just as i walk past mr yamaha here it's raining man, hallelujah, it's raining man, amen, oh the weather is shit, why did I do this as my first time back boys, oh, I'm literally doing like two laps again, straight afterwards, I'm so knackered, my arse is absolutely killing me as well, yep, my feet are not the most comfortable, so this is my third session of the day as I'm putting on here and uh, it's my last one as well. The weather just gets a little bit too too much for me by the end of it and I think I ended up doing like 9-10 laps in total for the day which uh, which really is a shame but to be fair it's, it kind of gives me a little bit of a kick up the arse to maybe actually get on the exercise bike, do some, uh, do some weights and stuff just to get into a little bit of a better shape and I found for the most part I, I mean I know I've only done like three laps a session so uh, it's obvious but um, I didn't really get tired in the way of uh, like fitness in terms of running out of breath it was purely all in my forearms uh, and my wrists and I know I do have a habit of not gripping the bike too much with my knees so that's a massive like start point just in riding technique that I can change um, but as well it would be nice to kind of go to the gym a little bit and lose the extra bit of covid weight uh, you can see here this this part of the track is what we call the orchard and this part's always wild it always gets wetter than the rest of the track uh, luckily it's, it's not too sandy though it's not very loamy so a lot of time it just ends up being more slick and like super deep and you see I had to like pick myself around some people there uh, you can see the the rain oh, on the gopro it's it is a bit of annoying a bit annoying to watch back i'll be honest with you but um, i'm just going to keep you on board for this lap because uh yeah just get something interesting to happen in a second uh, i found i shouldn't laugh because it happens to me in second but so, so the guy comes up my inside here and i, I just love when this that like, on top of an over in front of me is just so funny and then again i'm just like oh let me just uh, sneak my way by do, 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 do. Um, and then i'll probably get karma for uh, for laughing because i do go down in a second as well which you probably saw by the thumbnail because it would make a very good thumbnail i hope i used it i hope i remember to um but you, you can see the, the track itself it doesn't look very slick but i found where my tires were so packed in i was really just like struggling for grip every single bump i hit down these hills just felt like such an impact in my forearms i wanted to die and then here again the jump that i've been scared to commit to the entire day go into it a little bit off balance going into it and thud to the fore and my boots suck underneath me and someone falls on top as well so um i mean it made the video interesting at least uh, managed to i had to help this guy out a little bit he was struggling to get his bike off there again that kind of sapped all of my energy to be completely honest and i've always found uh, i never really struggled to get my bike up but once i have i'm just like oh my god i'm blowing out my ass my arms are dead i feel horrible um but yeah i just thought it was quite funny that i got that on camera because it's not often that i crash to be fair i usually um i am a bit of a wimp like i don't ride outside my um 
my comfort levels too much so majority of the time i don't go down so it was just typical but the, the time i actually strap a camera to myself this happens but it wasn't much drama you know just a tiny top over wasn't hurt like nothing nothing happened but it did drain my um my arms a whole whole lot and to be completely honest i feel like i rode around the next two laps just on the pegs not really trying to do too much and it's not that interesting to watch so um that will do it for me i'm gonna skip to the end now and we're gonna get past lins to just roll the outro thanks boys that was bloody awful. Uh, that's going to do it for me today, boys. Oh, a little bit outside of my uh, skill level, to be honest, after just hopping back on the bike. But hope you enjoyed regardless. Please drop a like on the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully, I'll be stopped blowing out my ass by then. Peace. Man, my tent way too damn dark. Laugh in your face like man dark. Came a long way from the bad days way back. Had to burn down that landmark. Seen some things I ain't really want to see. It's all good. That's what made me me. Now, who would I be if I had it easy? Used to break down. Now I'm in a 350. Like, whoa, I've been laying way too low. Had to switch up and change my flow. Cause I'm back from the block. Had to bust some rocks and dust off the dust to get back in the box. Now, why you